Tanya Maduro and Sinjin Colchester divorce on camera in a tell-all first. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. During the 90-day, the single life season 3 tell-all special, we heard about Tanya Maduro's love life and journey. One thing has been holding her back, her marriage to Sinjin. Despite some theories from castmates, it's not lingering feelings keeping them from moving forward, just paperwork. Part 3 of the Tell All fixed that. Tanya Maduro and her ex, Sinjin Colchester, spoke about where things stand. Unfortunately, they have not been able to remain close friends. Tanya explained, he shared, like, endless quo, I can't do that. Like, endless quo, that's too hard f-o-r-m-e. I need more space. And that hurt. She has heard a lot from him about his dating since they split. Sinjin gave her a heads up before going Instagram official with his new girlfriend, Shayna. But Sinjin has not been willing to discuss Tanya's dating life following their split. That is one-sided and awkward. I would love to be like great friends, because even if we didn't work out as a couple, there is still a connection there, Tanya expressed. But with the topic of Shayna coming up, Sinjin spoke about her at length, some of their castmates began to spin theories. Debbie Johnson, who at 70 has a pretty significant generational divide from the millennial exes, spoke up. She voiced her belief that Tanya doesn't want a divorce because divorcing Sinjin would allow him to remarry. Debbie believes that, deep down, Tanya doesn't want to see him move on. Tanya reacted with astonishment at Debbie's theory. There did not appear to be much substance to it. Meanwhile, Sinjin was quick to shoot down the speculation, noting that he hadn't been in a rush to support it, either. To both of them, the actual paperwork surrounding a legal marriage is just red tape. The commitment that they once had is the real marriage. We could talk all day about why this is not an uncommon point of view among millennials, or Gen Z, for that matter. Please like and subscribe to my channel and the click on the bell icon to get new video updates. Watching parents remain married on paper while quietly loathing each other can do that. But so can watching governments withhold or grant legal marriage recognition. Governments do not bestow marriages, they only acknowledge them. Some of them, some of the time. Marriage is a personal relationship, sometimes involving religion, sometimes involving more than two people. Tanya and Sinjin's marriage ended everywhere but on paper. It ended a long time ago. And, during the Tell All Part 3, which they recorded in September of this year, I have a notary in the papers here with me, ready to sign the F King divorce papers. Tanya announced. Sure enough, the notary came out and handed the exes their divorce papers. Together, Tanya and Sinjin formally ended their marriage, the marriage that ended, in truth, long ago. This was also a tell-all first. We've seen divorce papers on this show before, but never a tell-all signing quite like this. Done. Done. However, that does not mean that everything was free of conflict. Tanya had made a point by asking why the paperwork was such a big deal to outsiders. One of her castmates took umbrage at it. Debbie went off on Tanya, calling her a bitch among a slew of other insults. You hate to see your faves in conflict. We know that Tell All's film for many hours and can be very draining on the cast, but this was intense. It would be nice to see the two be genuine friends one day. But that doesn't have to happen, 